Welcome back to This Is Your Life, and I am Queen Von Shea Tarot, and tonight I will be doing a reading for the zodiac sign Taurus. This will be a general reading, okay? This is April 5th. It's a Wednesday. Let's get started. Okay, universe. <laughs> that Aries reading was off the chain. <laughs> Can I get two more cards? Can I get one more card for Taurus regarding general? Can I get one more card, universe, for Taurus regarding general? Is there anything else? bottom of the deck we have liar okay I Taurus so when it comes to uh, your general reading you have um, air so there could be a air sign involved in this okay uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius okay and then we have yes it says luck is on your side. Okay, Taurus. Now we have this card right here in the middle. It's turned it's face down. So let's see what it says. Intuition. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, um, Taurus. So with um intuition being here and yes, and then we have liar at the bottom of the deck. Remember? So it says the red flags you ignore now will come back um, to bite you later. So basically, what's ever going on in your, your life, whether it's your job, whether it's your relationship, whether it's your children, whatever the case may be, whatever um, red flags that you have been ignoring, especially with this um, yes being right here, and we know a lady, this is a, a ladybug, and we know ladybugs are red, okay, they're red and black. So it's like um, you have had some type of intuition, some type of knowledge or something, but you're, you're either lying to yourself uh, or other people are lying to you. And there could be a air sign involved, like I said, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius when it comes to this. But let's just see what the tarot has to say. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. Sorry, sorry, Taurus. My um, sage fell. Don't do that. Don't do dots. Don't do dots. You stay right there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use these tarot cards right here for this portion of the reading, Taurus, for your general universe. Can I get Can I get one card for the air signs that could be involved in this? Interesting. Can I get one to two more cards for this reading? For Taurus? Why is the intuition card here for Taurus? Damn it. So, it's going to be this one. Oh, you got a lot of shit going on. Can I get one to two cards for yes for Taurus regarding general? Okay. All right, let's see what it do, Taurus. So a lot of your cards came face down. So when I said, um, can I get a card or two for the air sign um, regarding this situation? What actually came out was the, uh, the three of pentacles, okay? 
And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So, remember when I was saying that it's possible that it could probably have something to do with your job, okay? Or someone at your job or something like that. With the um, Pentacles coming out here, we have um, educations, we have details, we have development, okay? And ambition and perfectionist, perfection on here. And then we have um, the Three of Pentacles. And it says um, cooperation, teamwork, collaboration, learning, and recognition. So it could definitely be something that's going on at your job, Taurus, okay? And with the um, the pinnacles coming out here, this is Earth, okay? This is um, Earth right here, all right? And then um, right here on this side, so it could be like something that's going on that you may have a, a sense about, but like I said, you could be ignoring the red flags. So right here, you got four cards. They all face down and they right here by the intuition. So when it said, you know, the red flags that you ignore now could be the ones that could come back and bite you. So with these four cards facing down, it could definitely be something that you ignore and are not necessarily paying enough attention to, Taurus, okay? So let's just flip them over together and see what's going on. Well, damn. Well, damn. Well, damn. I'm sorry. Um, this is, this is crazy. Okay, so look. We got the Empress, but look what position she came in. Look what position she came in. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Look what position that, you ignoring something. You ignoring something, Taurus. She came in the reverse. She's upside down. Five of Cups. All this is in the reverse. The Page of Wands. All this is in reverse. The Knight of Wands. Taurus. All of this is in reverse. It's something. It's something going on that you're not paying attention to. And with the Five of Cups being here, it's going to be a major loss. There could be someone in a higher up position with the Empress being here um, that could not be um, being honest with you when it comes to a certain situation, when it comes to your job or something like that. And then um, we have the Page of Wands. It is also in the reverse, all right? And it's like being discouraged, bad news, like... Yeah, frustration, delays, restlessness with the Knight of um, Wands being here in the reverse. Something is going down. And all these cards, my friend, is facing down. And you, what it's saying that um, the red flags that you ignore will come back to bite you later, that's looking like what it's doing. That's a looking like what it's doing, like for real. So it's kind of like whatever this situation is, you did it to yourself. And then Pete, at the bottom of the deck, we have the higher fence. Okay, we had a higher fence. Taurus, we have the higher fence right here at the bottom of the deck. So over here, under yes, luck is on your side. Okay, um, this card is face down, so I don't know what it is that it says. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Cups also in the reverse. <sighs> Manipulative, uh, unreliable, untrustworthy. Yes, someone is a liar <laughs> and they can't be trusted. And deep down inside, you probably already knew. And like you said, you was ignoring the red flag. So something definitely going to come bite you in the ass. I hope it's a cure for it. That's all I got to say, Taurus. Mm -hmm. 
right, universe, can I get a couple of cards, advice for Taurus to close off this reading? Because this is crazy. Universe, moving forward, what do you want Taurus to know? Moving forward. Is there anything Taurus could have did differently? Okay, we got three cards, and they all face down. Also over here by the intuition. Let's see what they say. Mm. Shit. This, this is hitting hard, Taurus. Like, what, what? Once again, they all in reverse. They all came out in the reverse. And peep what they say. Orphaned. Orphaned. You you didn't pay attention to the red flags, man. Number five could be significant. So with orphan being here, you may be feeling um alone, discouraged, maybe feeling sorry for yourself. You got um to be fair. It's kind of like, to be fair, you know what it was when you did what you did because you had to do something. So it's like, to be fair, you avoided the red flag. So whatever this is, that's why it's coming back to bite you. I'm sorry. And then you got never-ending story. So with never-ending story being right here, it's almost like this is something that has happened before, okay? This is something that you, had, you, that you have um, dealt with before. Okay, so this could have been prevented. This could have been prevented, okay? With that being said, Taurus, I am Queen Vanshe Tarot. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and thank you.